Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to compare fractions with same numerators. But before we get to some examples, let's take a look at this piece of paper. That way, it makes sense to us why we compare fractions with same numerators the way we do. You probably heard that, you know, when you're comparing fractions with the same numerators but different denominators, the fraction with the higher denominator is a smaller size than the fraction with a lower denominator. And you're probably wondering why that is. You want to understand why that is because if you just simply memorize, you will remember easily, but you will also forget them easily. Okay, if you want um, this learning to really stay with you for a very long time, it is very important for you to understand the why behind it. So let's take a look at this piece of paper. Let's say this is one whole. Now, if I fold this one whole piece of paper into two equal parts, every piece or every part of that is now one half. So this piece right here is one half. Notice that from one whole, which is the same thing as one over one, I now have one half, which is one over two. Notice that the denominator got bigger. The denominator of one half is bigger than the denominator of one whole, since one whole is the same thing as one over one. But the size of one half is smaller than the size of one whole. Now, if I get, if I fold this one half piece of paper into two equal parts, then every part of that will now be one fourth. Now, notice that the denominator of one fourth is greater than the denominator of one half. And notice that if I fold this one fourth piece of paper into two equal parts, every part is now one eighth. Again, notice that the denominator of one eighth is greater than the denominator of one fourth, but the size of one eighth is smaller than the size of one fourth. And that will continue to happen the more you fold the paper you will notice that the size of the paper will become smaller, but the fraction that represents it has a denominator that is greater than the previous fraction. In short, the fraction with a greater denominator will be a smaller size than the fraction with a smaller numerator, denominator. And that is if both fractions have the same numerator. So let's go over some examples. So remember what happened to the paper as we fold them. The denominator of the new fraction is bigger than the previous fraction, but the size of the paper is smaller. So we started out with 1 over 1, which is the same thing as 1 whole. We folded the 1 whole piece of paper into two equal parts, and every part of that is 1 half. Now the denominator is bigger than the previous one, but the size of the fraction is actually smaller than the previous one. So one over one or one whole is greater than one half. Notice that as the denominator get bigger, the size of the fraction gets smaller. And that idea is applicable when the numerators are the same. Now notice that when I folded the paper into two equal parts again, every part is now one fourth. The denominator is greater than the previous fraction, but the size of one-fourth is actually smaller than the size of one-half. Therefore, one-half is greater than one-fourth. And when I fold this into two equal parts, every piece is one-eighth. Notice that the denominator is greater, but the size of one-eighth is actually smaller than the size of one-fourth, which makes one-fourth greater than one-eighth. So notice that if the numerators are the same, but the denominators are different, the fractions with greater denominators actually have smaller sizes than the fractions with lower or smaller denominators. Let's take a look at some more examples. So let's say we have 2 over 7 and the other one is 2 over 8. This one has a greater denominator than this, which means this is bigger than 2 eighths. So 2 sevenths is greater than 2 eighths, or 2 eighths is less than 2 sevenths. 
I hope this video helps. In my next video, I'm going to show you the reasoning behind comparing fractions with different numerators, but same denominators. Thank you very much for watching.